Hey guys, how's it going? Toby here, welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. Today we have got a squad builder featuring the brand new Inform Canales. It's a silver that I really did enjoy the first time I used him. And I thought I'd give his Inform a try since it's actually not crazy expensive for a silver card. I guess it's because of the league and the nation not being as crazy as popular as it is. But it's still really, really cool. So I think it cost me about 175k. It's in the 41212 formation. Very solid formation, this. Now, before we get started, if you're looking for a place to get some coins, check the link in the description for the fifashop.co.uk, a really awesome website. And if you use the code TOBY10, you do in fact get a discount of every single one of the orders. So I'm going to start off by talking about the defense. And I'm going to be completely honest. Like, usually I build really awesome overpowered defenses because I find that it just makes it a lot easier like it genuinely makes your life a lot easier when you're making a team and when you've got a team and when you're playing against people online this defense it's okay it's not bad it's not bad in any way shape or form the right back is brilliant Chiellini is fantastic so we've got Conco we've got Chiellini both of those are brilliant really really awesome but we do have Mexes. And I'm about to throw in Patrice Ever as well, the Juventus version. And I struggled. I did genuinely struggle. It wasn't the pace. It was the out of position. It was really weird. For some reason, Mexes kept charging forwards, even though he doesn't have a high attacking work rate. But Ever does. Ever, I kind of expected it to. And when you, when you do have a lack of pace, and you've got a high attacking work rate, and for some reason you're trying to be a winger... It leaves a giant hole in your defense. And I did often find myself kind of getting abused on the right hand side. Like my opponent would notice that I have Evra. He'd notice that he's miles up the pitch and he'd just run it down with a ridiculously fast player. So I genuinely struggled there, but that is where the problems stopped, really. The rest of the team is absolutely awesome. So we've got Vidal at CDM. I was tempted to throw him at centre attack mid. I could have made it work like that. Right mid, we're going to go for Ben Arthur. Haven't used a five-star skiller in absolutely ages. And I genuinely tried so hard to get some really cool clips. I came so close to scoring a scoop turn into a Elastico. It just got saved and I was so good because it looked absolutely brilliant. But nonetheless, left mid, we have got Mark Gonzalez. Five foot nine, medium low work rates. But he has got four-star skills along with 90 pace and 79 shooting, which is really awesome considering he's only 1,000 coins. So if you haven't used him yet, give him a try because he's actually really, really good, especially on the left-hand side, possibly even in like a winger formation. So 4-3-3, perhaps 4. I reckon he'd do a lot of work. Now we have got Valdez. I used him the last time I used Canales. And he was a standout player in that team. He was really, really good. And this one, again, he was doing work. He was setting up a lot and... His shot is actually really decent considering he's only got 71 shooting, but let's throw in the man of the team, and that is the Inform Canales, paid 179,000 coins, but 6 foot 2, 3 star skills, 3 star weak foot, 84 pace, 78 shooting. That is awesome, along with 81 heading for a silver card. Maybe I should have tried this guy in a silver team. I did plan on making it a gold and silver mix, but then I started thinking about the players that I wanted, and it ended up just being pretty much a gold team maybe i should have done a silver team maybe that's why it wasn't as good as i hoped but nonetheless we have got remy at our other striker six foot also a fairly tall striking partnership which is always nice i do prefer taller players and the 91 pace never hurts so that is always pretty decent but let me talk about how the team played and the play style that I had to play with to actually get this team to go and it was good it was actually a good team really struggled at the start like genuinely really did and i didn't know why like it took me absolutely ages to work out why i was struggling it's quite similar because I, just, I wasn't passing enough all the passes that i was making were just really really long and it wasn't working out like sometimes it did work out i got a couple of goals off it but generally speaking it was really really tough to keep up the long balls and when i started passing around keeping possession a little bit more it did work out occasionally it would slip through where I'd be able to get a nice over the top three ball to Remy or Ben Arthur. And it would work. It wouldn't work sometimes, but it was just a bit of a hit and miss situation. So passing around slowly did work better and I conceded a lot less goals, but I did lose a fair few games. I think out of the seven that I played, I think I actually ended up only winning three or four, which is really bad. I was playing awful with this team. It was a lot of fun though. I did actually 
genuinely enjoy the team and I probably would recommend it. Under 250k, I think I got it for about 150, but I would honestly recommend it if you do enjoy it. Give the video a like if you have. Take care guys, have an amazing day and goodbye.